what we're going to do is, on this we have a, uh, a quadratic function, and what I want to do is, I want to go and see what exactly, if we can find out what the exact formula is for this quadratic function. So, a very standard um, thing that we can use is, so far we've been familiar with f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. That's what we're going to want to use, that's what we're going to want to find um, when we're using for this parabola. However, it's very difficult to determine what our a, b, and c are. So a very, e a lot easier um, formula to use, or form of your quadratic formula, is your standard form. Which you guys remember is f of x equals a, x minus h squared plus k. And the reason why that's, it, this is so much easier is because we have to talk about h and k are our vertex. All right, and you remember our vertex is either the minimum or the maximum of your parabola. So when I want to figure out what is, you know, what is giving me my formula, the first thing I can do is I can say, well, I know what my vertex is. X, um, let's see, that's going to be x minus 2 squared and then plus 0. Right? Because it's not moving up or down at all. And there's my, you know, my vertex. And I can double check x minus 2. That means I shift it 2 to the right. So perfect. Right, <coughs> right there. Now, the only other piece of information I know is, because this isn't enough right now, the only other, um, I need to see if I can determine what my uh, A is. So, when I'm looking at this, um, the only other piece of information they give me is, uh, the graph has to go through the point 3, 2. And if you guys remember, you know, a graph is a set of all coordinate points. So, therefore, this point, since it goes through there, it's going to make the equation equal if you plug it in for an x and y. So, what I can do is if I say, instead of f of x is my output, I'm going to continue y because we know coordinate points, we like to write them as x and y. You also could write them as x and f of x. <laughs> but I think just for you guys, going back from what you've learned, it's, it's ingrained in you using y. So I'll say y times a x minus 2 squared plus 0. Let's just not write this here anymore. So if I have an x and a y coordinate, which I do, 3 and 2, and then this is 3 minus 2 squared. And so 3 minus 2 is going to be 1. 1 squared is 1. So I have 2 is equal to A. So therefore, now I know what my 2 is. Or I'm sorry, now I know what my A is. So if I want to write my um, equation for this function going through this point, it's going to be f of x equals 2 x my, I'm sorry, yes, x minus 2 squared and then plus 0. And, um, and that's pretty much uh, everything I want. There is a little disclaimer as far as you know finding other values for a, but as far as it going through this point and using this vertex, all you really need to do is plug in your vertex and your point and find your value for a. That's going to best help it, yes? Can you just try and find the slope of it? Isn't A kind of like your slope? Um, a is going to be telling you what your how it's going to stretch and compress. Remember, um, this is going to tell you how to stretch and compress it vertically. The tough thing with doing a slope is since this is a parabola, your slope is always going to be kind of interchange. It's always going to be changing. You know, it's much it's steeper here, but then it's going to get um, it gets a lot. Uh, it decreases until it gets to here, where it's actually a constant slope, and then it goes back up. So it's tough to look at this as a slope, but you can see the increasing, um, this will tell you the stretching and compressing. Yes? How did you get that equation, the f of x is, yeah? This? Yeah. I got it from this. This is your standard form, which should be in your outline. So what did you get right? x minus 2 minus 0? Because h is my, h is my um, vertex, so you put h in for 2, and then k was my 0. So hk is always your vertex. So you just plug it in and then plug your point. Where did you yes. get the 3 down there? I plugged in this point. 3 is my coordinate x, y. So I plugged in, since 3 can equal x, I want to plug in 3 in for x, and I plugged in 2 in for y. Could you have plugged in any other point? Only if I knew it was on the graph. Right. You just can't point it. You know, if I knew that 1 comma 2 was on the graph, then yes, you could plug it in. But you want to make sure it's on the graph for you to plug it into the equation. All right?